Um, <laughs> you can do it. Put, put your back, back into it. it. <laughs> how did? Okay, so so I know you 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 and him worked this song together. Who Ice Cube? Yeah, so yeah. how did y'all how how did y'all come up with the whole? How did this happen? Give us a break. Ice Cube, baby. Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me break in here. Um, <laughs> you can do it. Let's put your back you into, into it. it. <laughs> how did? How, okay, so so I know you, you you and him worked this song together. Who Ice Cube? So how did y'all? How, how did y'all come up with the whole? How did this happen? Give us a break. I love that okay. song. Man, I love, it, I love it. It's it. timeless. I love it this too. this this work. Uh, you can listen to it, and every time it's yeah. great. It sounds great. Man. Okay, a backstory. On when the last time you performed it? Let me stop you in right? Atlanta. Okay. How long the 29th? Oh. It was my show on the 31st. Let's I just get it, left. I just did. I just did. wanted to just put it. I want to make sure they know. Okay. Know. Okay, let's talk about it. How did the process okay, um, go? I met Ice Cube before. I mean, right after I did Burn, mm -hmm. um, we was in the studio, me and Mr. Tan from Baby Boy. That's mm -hmm. one, of my, one of my other partners. <laughs> That's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> right? And, and, you know, so me and Mr. Tan, he's also, you know, the actor in the movie uh -huh. as well. So we was like, okay, let's play our music for Cube. You know, it was like one of those West Coast things where we had a meeting with him from Terry Carter, which R.I.P. was one of my good friends. And mm -hmm. he was like, Miss Toy, I promise, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I'm gonna give you Q number, I'm gonna give you Mac number. So Mac from Inglewood like me, so I pushed that number aside and I wanna go talk to Q. Let's go see what Q talk about. And so we vibed though. It wasn't no promises made, but it was just that good West Coast going back and forth with the music. Mm -hmm. So um, after I did Burn, um, K-Mac from the Comrades, cause he's a West Coast group, he was like, damn, Miss Toy, I, I got to get your connect. So me and him connect out of all of the people on the West Coast. I'm not giving my number out to everybody. You feel me? But this one rapper that I always see at everything, me and him exchange numbers and he called me. Toy, Q needs you to get on this hook. And I'm like. Who was he? K-Mac from the Okay, oh, mac okay. Yeah, he worked with um, the football league. Okay. So um, he's like, I'm like, where y'all at? He's like, we in Hollywood. I said, all right, well, come get me. <laughs> so then he like, all right, where you at? I'm, I'm in Inglewood. Cause I need to pull up with these niggas. You feel right, me? I need to pull right. up. I'm not walking to no studio. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying by myself. So he's like, all right. So I'm like, okay. You know, he come get me and everything. We walk in. It's the studio is dumb. There's so many people in there. I'm just like, whatever. Cause I block people out anyway and go do my job. And so Cube was like, yeah. Um, you know, this this is what we doing. And I was like, all right. Hit the blunt. Went in the booth, did the shit, and I was ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really like hanging. Mm -hmm. I don't know these people. I know Cube. I know a couple of people. But the producer actually was standing. You said you say that so fast. Went in the booth, made it happen. Yeah, how how fast? Went, you like I that? Went, yeah. you, I, oh, Is you, it one take? Oh, yeah. I'm, one take. I'm serious about this. Okay. I'm serious I'm about this checking, voice. I'm Cube was like, I like your voice. That's dope. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, these lines is going back and forth with a male. And male and female on the track just automatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They right. both got dope voices. It's no way you can go and wrong. The chemistry, you, the chemistry has to be no there, way. too. Yeah. It's no way you can go wrong with something that's... The track is so full of positive energy. You know but, what I'm saying? Okay, but when you're working with somebody, does how much does the chemistry have to do? Even when the voices are great. Do you have to have a vibe with a person to be able to work with them? Yeah, I mean, when I vibed out with him a couple of years before that, I got my feel already. Okay. And I already knew. I was like, all right, we're going to go in the studio. And, you know, I was invited on an incredible song. A couple of weeks later, I heard it was the single. You wow. know what I'm saying? So I already was in contact with my attorney and things like, you know, they spell my name wrong. Like you said, what I go through, they spell it M-I-S-S. -S. Right. They had to get that shit right. You know what I'm saying? But who am I? They gonna spell it wrong right now. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this bitch keep telling us to do stuff? I want y'all to get my name right, right because then they wrong. Know it right. They thought I was Lil' Kim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't give me no credit. You feel me? On wow. the smoke, the niggas tried to be dirty back me and say I was gossiping. So this is a lot of shit that somebody have to go through when you in the business and you on incredible. When you say song. somebody or it's just females have to go through this stuff. No, um, males go through it too. Okay. Males get accused of a lot of shit too. Especially okay. on the road. We're not going to act like women are always the ones. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just a few that don't care about how y'all perceive me after I do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To ignore you. Because now I'm going to go against the grain. Every time you ask me to do something a certain way, I'm going to kind of go against the grain a little bit. Because I know somebody got an agenda. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you always hear about the females. Maybe because the females are the ones who are always complaining and saying you know stuff like that about the industry. We cost a lot of money. Now, if you invest in your own money to keep yourself fly, mm -hmm. then it don't take them all day to go take care of business for you. Mm -hmm. You'll have more work done if mm -hmm. you came halfway prepared as women. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Don't go 
to your event and then you need everything done, your hair washed, you need full makeup, you need somebody to dress you, you got to play a position in your business. This is my business, so I have to make sure I look good before somebody else try to think they can make me look good. And you are all around artists. Can you talk about um, being a female in an industry and some females, what they need to do is know how to do an in be the engineer, know how to do this. Now, how many things in this industry do you know how to do? Okay, well, first of all, I learned how to write, mm -hmm. be a writer, and learn how to own it. Um, by uh, registering my music when I became an artist. Mm -hmm. um, I signed up with BMI long before. Somebody was like, you get a hit, you're going to make money for the rest of your life. That's all somebody had to tell me one time. And I believed it. Um, that's the most honest shit that somebody ever told me in this business. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.